I'm Peter Block here at TCT 2019 in San Francisco for ACC.org. On my left is Tony Gerschlich from the UK, and Tony has been involved with the Excel trial. Now, you remember the Excel trial is this, should we or should we not do a PCI for left main coronary stenosis? So, Tony, now we have five-year follow-up, yep. and this is a long time. It's great to have a long follow-up for a trial. Tell me where we stand with Excel. So, uh, Excel is at five years. It's very important for these sorts of trials to have long-term follow-up because we know that uh, treatments can uh, be different over three, five, and ten years. Uh, but this is the five-year follow-up, and uh, you remember that Excel was a randomized trial uh, in patients who had been to the MDT where there was equipoise of treatment for PCI versus CABG and 950 patients per yeah. group. So 2,000 roughly patients yeah. together, half to surgery, half to PCI. So now uh, we knew that it was fairly equivalent going forward at uh, two years and so forth. So where do we stand now that we have a longer follow-up? Things changing? Um, not really. So the three-year data had been published before under the auspices of Greg Stone and his great team. Um, what we now have is five-year data, and um, there are no significant differences in the hard endpoint, uh, primary endpoint, of death, uh, MI, and stroke between okay. the two groups. So let's take that apart a little bit if we can. So yeah. death, of course, is the most important hard endpoint. No difference there for sure, right? Well, death alone, overall mortality, uh, there's appeared at uh, five years to be a small signal for difference favoring CABG. But this was not significant. I actually wanted to go there because the signal seems, I looked at those um, slides and this, there seems to be something going on, but hard to know at five years because other causes of death come into this and play into the statistics, don't they? Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, I think uh, all the uh, non-cardiac deaths and the cardiac deaths were adjudicated as much as they could be. Um, and um, obviously, if there are excess of cancer and sepsis, um, then it may well be that this is the cause, and highly likely this is the cause, of this little signal at uh, five years. But by and large, we can't say anything about that, except for now it looks like it's still about the same. It's still about the same in terms of cardiac death, right. MI, and stroke. So, and the stroke business is really actually quite equivalent, isn't it? It is quite equivalent. Uh, early on in other trials, there was a suggestion of excess strokes in the CABG patient, but that does not reach anywhere near uh, significant in these Good. Data. Okay. So now at five years, <coughs> we are, for all intents and purposes, where we were at three. There's not very much difference between the two groups, cabbage versus PCI. And yet, uh, I mean, we still have important things going on with these patients. It isn't that they all do great, right? No. So at five years, they still are dying from some things, having some MIs and having some strokes. So let me ask you the question. If you had a left main stenosis and three vessel disease, remember the syntax business sort of started all this Excel yeah. because now we're into modern therapy with yeah. good stents. What would you want to have done? So. Um, the syntax that you mentioned, of course, is very important because yeah. although this was a syntax score less than 32, 25% right. according to the core lab had syntax values above that 25% of the patients. So it's not absolutely a low risk group. But it's relatively low but it, risk. But it's, yeah. it's, 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 to be completely clear, these results are applicable as per the original hypothesis to low or intermediate right. syntax score patients. Uh, to answer your question, I think if it was if it was osteolar body, there would be no question. I think if it was bifurcation disease, I would look at complexity. I would uh, make sure, and this is another message from uh, the Excel trial, that patients are individual. Um, I think that they should be uh, all discussed at an MDT left mains, the heart team meeting, as you call it over here. Um, and then I think you now have, most importantly, you now have five-year data to go and talk to the patient. And you can say that in terms of cardiovascular death, MI, and stroke, there are no differences between the two. You might want to mention the little signal of overall mortality. And I think if that is, as it will be in the paper, 
part of the uh, results, then that may be something you want to mention. The cool thing about, I love it, the cool thing about this is you still have to be a doctor. And yes, right, exactly. A, a little exactly bit of clinical right. judgment is a good yes, thing. Yes, yes, each patient being the individual. And the MDT is an important process, but people have to go and see the patient. You can't just discuss the patient. Thanks, Tony. Thank you very much.